In July 2022, I decided to take a complete break from men. No dating, no hookups, not even messaging a boy in a romantic way. This past year, I've not even done so much as hold a man's hand. In a world that is so focused on romance and finding the one, I know this might sound a little bit crazy and like, why on earth would anyone do that? And of course, this is not to say there's anything wrong at all with dating or pursuing a romantic relationship or being in a relationship in general. This is just something that felt right to me personally. And taking a hiatus from boys has completely changed my life and benefited me in ways I didn't even know were possible. So if you wanna find out how taking a break from boys has changed my life, then keep on watching. Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alice and on this channel we talk all things wellness, self-love and leveling up into the best versions of ourselves. So as you just heard in the intro, this past year I have been on a hiatus, a complete break from men and dating and all of that stuff. And the reason why this whole thing came about was because I realized I had a very unhealthy mindset around relationships and I didn't truly know how to be alone. When I was a teenager, I was boy crazy. I feel like that's quite common for a teenage girl. Like there's nothing wrong with that at all. I would always have a crush on some guy and be fantasizing about them. I would say honestly from about the age of 14 up until literally last year, there wasn't really a time in my life where I wasn't either in a relationship, crushing on some guy, or at least texting a guy. Looking back, I don't know how I kept all of that up. Like, how did I have any time to do anything else? Boys were constantly on my mind. I grew up watching Disney films and rom-coms, as I'm sure a lot of you guys did as well. And don't get me wrong, I love those films so much, but they really do instill these subconscious beliefs in young girls' minds that the main goal of your life is to find yourself a man and he'll complete you and he'll make all of your dreams come true and you'll never have another problem again. And I really internalized that. Like, I put all of my self-worth onto men. Whenever I didn't have a boyfriend, I was on the hunt for male attention and validation. I honestly was such a pick me girl, like it's really embarrassing, but it's true. I was really out here trying to make all the boys fall in love with me just so I could get some attention and validation because at the time I didn't know how to give that to myself. Literally, it used to be such a thing in my mind that if I was going to an event and there wasn't gonna be a boy there that I could gravitate towards and seek that attention from, then I really wouldn't be bothered about going to the event. Like it was bad, but it's okay. It's all part of the journey. I feel like that's something a lot of people go through growing up is wanting that attention from boys and I think that's totally normal. It just got to the point where for me personally it wasn't really serving me in my life anymore to keep going on this way. Now I had a couple of more serious long-term relationships throughout university and my early 20s but they would always follow the same pattern. I would start off falling really hard and being completely smitten and it would be really good for a while but inevitably as time went on I'd start to lose myself in the relationship and make myself smaller and I'd start relying on my boyfriend to take the lead and do things for me and it kind of got a bit unhealthy. I'd lose confidence in myself because it was just so much easier to let my boyfriend do everything for me which is obviously not healthy like it was not a good place to be and then I'd kind of end up resenting the situation I was in. I didn't like the person I became when I was in a relationship and of course it wasn't the guy's fault. It was a pattern in me that I needed to deal with. I needed to learn how to be okay on my own. And by the end of those relationships I'd find myself just really longing for that freedom and independence that I got from being single and not in a sense of participating in hookup culture if you do do that that's absolutely fine but it wasn't really my scene I just really craved that freedom of being alone and not having to really share my time with anyone else I just wasn't ready for that and this pattern went on until July last year when me and my boyfriend of three years decided to go our separate ways. I decided I was done with this toxic pattern I'd been creating for myself. So I decided to take an entire year to be intentionally single and work on myself so that eventually when I did feel ready to get into another relationship, I wouldn't fall back into those old patterns that didn't make me feel good and weren't healthy. I knew I just needed to take a complete break from the pursuit of relationships and so the year of being single on purpose began. And again, it wasn't that I wanted to participate in hookup culture, although I'm absolutely not shaming or judging anyone who does choose to do that. For me, it was just that something deep inside of me was really calling me to be on my own for a bit and really find out who I am when I'm not in a relationship. When I'm on my own, I'm not a girlfriend, I'm just me. So it's now been just over a year since I made that decision 
and I can honestly say I am the happiest and most confident I've ever been. Now, of course, this is not to say that you can't be happy in a relationship or that you should break up with your boyfriend right now. Of course not. Relationships can be really, really beautiful. I just wanted to make this video right now for anyone who is currently single and feels pressured to be looking for the next relationship or like being single is a problem to solve because there is so much joy in being single and taking time to be truly alone. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the benefits that I personally have found from taking an extended period of time to be intentionally single. I have learned how to validate myself. I used to crave validation from boys. Like men were my main source of self-worth. And this was just basically giving my power away because if they didn't say what I wanted them to say, if I didn't get that compliment I wanted or whatever, I had these expectations in my head of what I wanted them to do. And if they didn't follow through with that, which of course, how could they? They're not mind readers. Then I would just end up feeling deflated and sad. And that of course is not fair on the guy and just a horrible feeling for myself. But since being single, I have learned how to validate myself properly and have cultivated real self-esteem that comes from within, not from an external source. I think a lot of people do tend to think that once they find that special person, they will be their source of happiness. They'll solve all of the problems. And I do think that is a side effect of the society that we live in. You know, all of those rom-coms and Disney films that are focused on finding a man and getting swept off your feet by a prince. But learning how to give that validation and comfort to yourself is such a good skill to learn. And now I'm more confident than I ever thought was possible because I've cultivated it from within instead of sourcing it all from an external person. I now dress for myself and not for the male gaze. Back in the day, I used to dress according to what I thought men would find attractive. I know that's not very feminist of me, but yeah, that's what I used to do. And of course, that was just giving my power away again and taking me further away from my true self and what I actually like to dress in. Now I dress according to what I actually like and what makes me feel comfortable and confident and I'm not thinking about how I'll be perceived from whatever boys might be at the occasion that I'm going to because it just genuinely doesn't matter to me anymore whether I get attention from them or not. On a similar note, my workouts are no longer for the purpose of looking good for a guy. That really would be the narrative that was going on in my head back in the day. I'd be so focused on appearance and wanting to be noticed by boys that that was literally the main motivation of working out. Now I actually work out for myself because it makes me feel good and it's good for my overall physical and mental health. I now have so much more time for myself. Back in the day, whenever I was in a relationship, I would always think that I had to be constantly in communication with whoever I was seeing. Even when the conversation wasn't really going anywhere, I would just keep it going for the sake of it. I don't even know why. Just to feel like they were there, I guess. But that took a lot of time out of my day, like a lot of screen time and a lot of mental energy in keeping the conversation going. Now I have so much more mental space because I'm not thinking about messaging a guy and I'm not thinking about boy drama in general. Like after me and my ex went our separate ways, obviously I grieved for a little bit, but then I just felt this sense of peace and mental stillness and like there was so much space in my mind to think about other things things that I'm really passionate about and interested in I have so much more time to do the things that I love and work on myself and my goals and it sounds really cheesy but I have just really gotten to know me as a person I've been dating myself I now know what I really enjoy I'm not molding myself into whatever kind of person that I think I should be in a relationship I've started investing lots of time into the passions and hobbies that really light me up and make me feel the most me. I started really nurturing the other relationships in my life, the other sources of love. I do think that there's this misconception that romantic love is the most important source of love in your life. But there is so much love all around, whether that's from your family, your friends, your community, or most importantly, from yourself. In my year of being intentionally single, I have really nurtured female friendship in particular. I never used to think I was a girl's girl, but that was because back in the day, I was so boy crazy that I would just put so much attention and focus on men. And really it was just because I wanted attention from them. Now I'm such a girl's girl. I have got some amazing girlfriends and I finally got that feeling of sisterhood that I've been craving for so long. And I am so grateful for them. I would much rather hang out with my girls now than going out and trying to find a man. Now I'm more present and content with the moment exactly as it is. Back in the day when I would go to a social event, my attention would low key always be on the boys and any specific boy that I might be able to get a little bit of attention from. That was sending out the message to the universe that I wasn't 
okay with the moment as it is. Now I am so content with just hanging out by myself or with my family or my friends and fully giving my attention to that. Like this moment is enough. <laughs> I have learned how to regulate my emotions. I used to literally use whatever guy I was seeing or messaging as an emotional crutch. Because we would be in constant conversation, whenever anything happened that made me a little bit anxious or upset or whatever it was, I would literally straight away message them. Without taking the time to notice how it actually made me feel, I would immediately just pass on that emotional responsibility onto them and kind of expect that they make me feel better, which of course is a huge responsibility on them and completely not fair. Now I have learned techniques to self-soothe and regulate my own emotions. And that just feels really empowering because now I don't need to offload my problems and my emotions onto somebody else. I can completely soothe myself and get through it on my own. I'm so much more independent now. Like I said before, when I was in relationships, I would always let the guy take the lead and do things for me. Just because it was easier, I just kind of slipped into that pattern of making myself smaller. I would start to believe that I couldn't do these things. But now I have the mindset that I can do anything if I put my mind to it. And I don't have to rely on anyone else because I know that I can handle things on my own. And finally, this past year, I have done so much work on myself and I've gotten so much closer to who I authentically am, away from the projections of other people away from expectations of what I should be when I'm a girlfriend or how I should behave to attract men. I just don't think about any of that stuff anymore. I am just so content on my own and I've really cultivated true self-love. And now I'm in the place where I don't really wanna give this peace away. I know that people say that when you find the right relationship, it should feel like peace. It should feel like something that adds to your life. And I think that's something I've not really experienced yet. I think the mindset I was in that was quite toxic was that relationships should be constantly really exhilarating and butterflies just like all those dramatic relationships that you see in movies and things like that I thought that's how love should feel and so that's the kind of relationships that I drew to myself for the most part and so that's really why I decided to take this year out to just be intentionally single and I'm so glad I did and obviously this is not to say that I am gonna be in this headspace forever I'm gonna choose to never date again and never want to get married or anything like that but this is just a reminder that it is okay Okay to take some time to be truly alone. There is so much power in being comfortable and content on your own and cultivating real self-love so that you won't settle for anything less than you know you deserve. You won't need that external validation from men because you know your worth innately. I'm definitely going to make a whole video on how to detach your self-worth from men and stop the boy obsession and validate yourself. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video or found it interesting. Hopefully it gave you some inspiration to maybe just explore your relationship with relationships. Like I said earlier, of course, there is nothing wrong with being in a relationship. Relationships can be really, really beautiful if it's the right one. But if you are in a relationship right now and it doesn't feel right, it's okay to take some time for yourself. There is nothing wrong with being single you can be just as happy single as you are in a relationship. And definitely it's better to be single than to settle for something that isn't quite right for you just because you feel like you should be in a relationship because that's what society says you should do. This is just a reminder that you don't constantly need to be in pursuit of a relationship just because you think you should or you've been told that you should by society or your parents or whoever it is. If it's not authentically what you want deep down in this moment, then you don't have to subscribe to that. So yeah, that's a little bit of reflection on my year of being single on purpose. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more from me and more videos on wellness and self-love in general. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.